Yes, it's not photography. It's cooking. Yeah, I'm in lockdown. What can I do? I'm kind of waiting for chemicals. I'm waiting for film. I've got so many projects on the go. And I thought, okay, let's do some cooking. So let's bring India into the kitchen and let's film it. Today in the lockdown kitchen, we're going to make Malai Kofta. For this recipe, you'll need some hard spices, a cinnamon stick, two green cardamom, six to seven black peppercorns, a half a teaspoon of cumin, and three to four cloves. You fry these in some butter and some oil. Once the spices have fried for about one minute, then bring a chopped onion into the pan and cook this until it's golden brown, then add two garlic cloves and three whole green chilies and one piece of ginger. Saute this until it's golden, then add four chopped tomatoes or tin tomatoes. One tin tomato will do. And add 20 cashew nuts or some ground almonds. Add a teaspoon of turmeric, two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, and cook for a further five minutes. You can also add some water to the paste if you find it too thick. Let the ingredients rest until they get to room temperature and then liquidize the ingredients. Bring the sauce or gravy back to the pan and bring to the boil. Add some water if you need to. Add some garlic masala powder, some menti leaves and coriander leaves. You can add a quarter cup of cream and bring to the boil for five minutes. Now your sauce is ready. Take two large boiled potatoes and cut them in half. You'll need 200 grams of grated pannier cheese. We made our own cheese, which is quite easy. One teaspoon of salt, two green chilies chopped, some coriander leaves, mash this all together, and a tablespoon of corn flour to, so that it binds. Now you're going to roll these into a ball and inside of these you want to put some cashew nuts or an almond flake and some raisins and then you deep fry in some oil. Of course, in our recipe, we left out some things like the fresh coriander leaves, and we had no cashew nuts as we're in lockdown. We had a great time making this recipe. It was absolutely delicious, and it's a perfect thing to do in lockdown. You need some time for it. Of course, you need some spices, but the rest of the ingredients are pretty much basic, you know, potatoes and tomatoes. And yeah, it's not that hard to do, but it takes some time. Uh, right now, every day feels like Sunday, like the Morrissey song, so we need something to break up in the week, and I definitely recommend a cooking project, when you're not doing photography, of course. I do hope you like this video. I know it's my, not my typical photography video. However, as we're in lockdown, uh, I can't get chemicals, I can't get film, uh, I've got to wait for deliveries, and yeah, I thought I'd try out the Fuji X. H1, so I made this film. So, kind of in a way, it is photography and video, and there was some shots in there from India. My next video, which I'm working on, I'm waiting for my friend to actually do the background music, which he's making himself. Uh, so, I'm really excited about that, and it's going to be still life in lockdown. So, hang on for that. That's going to come probably at the end of this week. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, Please subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Goodbye.